Jackson. Hey everybody, it's me, Miss Cracker, wearing a sensible pixie cut backstage at what? New York City Drag Con 2018. Today, we're gonna take advantage of the upcoming Halloween season by freaking the shit out of some fans. Let's have a look at what happens when, without consent, we walk up behind people with, I don't know, something weird, like a Jewish drag queen, and see if they fall apart emotionally when we touch them from behind. Looking at fans in their natural habitat. Oh, Jesus! They're very sneaky. They can get very close without your knowing. Okay, we're gonna try to sneak up on some fans. Reduced access to healthcare for women. Hello! Did I scare you at all? I did? Thank you, that means a lot to me. Oh my goodness, you are so lucky. You know, it costs most people $50 to see me in a meet and greet line, and you're meeting me for free right now. Do you have, do you have a Sharpie? Well then, thank you. There's my signature, and bam. What's the scariest thing that has happened to you this year? I was walking on my front porch, and a snake was looking at me. Oh my goodness! And it wouldn't move. Kellyanne Conway was at your house? Are you enjoying DragCon so far? I love it. What are you going to do for Halloween? I don't know yet. You don't know yet? No. You're about to find out. Come to Miss Cracker's official party at WOW Studios. F open bar, they're paying for it. Here we go. Thank you, baby. Thank you, Tommy. Can you hear me? All right, that was one successful adventure. I was gonna scare you guys for, oh, wait a second, they're Monet Exchange fans. We're trying to do what the people at WOW do all the time, which is capture people just being themselves. Steel tariffs, hello, oh my goodness. You were in my line earlier today. What's, what's your name, baby? Tim. Your heart is pounding so hard, I can feel it in your shoulder. All right, and what was the worst time that you've been scared this year besides when I approached you? Uh, I don't know, probably just you. <laughs> probably just me? Yeah. You're welcome. It's okay to be scared of drag. <laughs> I'm not, no, mm, I don't know. <laughs> I don't even. Speechless, ladies and gentlemen. All right, we're gonna try to like hide around this corner and capture somebody as they come around the other side. Hello. Fascism, hello! <laughs> Did I scare you? Yes, you scared the hell out of me. <laughs> You're welcome. You know, it's the Hall Halloween season, and so I'm celebrating that by scaring the shit out of people. Did you poop a little bit? Yeah, just a little bit. Just a little bit. But at our age, it's understandable, isn't it? What's the worst time you've ever been scared besides, besides me this year? In a haunted house? Yeah, haunted house. What was it that scared you at the haunted house? All the clowns. All of the clowns? <laughs> And then she came to DragCon. Plot twist, she's addicted now. All right, we're gonna go hunt some more people. Planned Parenthood, hello, sir. I what? You scared the shit out of me. I scared the shit out of him. I really accomplished my, did I, uh, okay. So I scared you. I'm celebrating the Halloween season by scaring the shit out of fans. It worked. What's the scariest thing that's happened to you this year besides me? That's like ranked up there. Um, oh, my doctor told me my herpes might come back. Yeah. It will come back? Yeah, Don't worry. When you stop being so needy for it, that's when it comes back. I learned these things from Asha. It's time to hunt some more fans. Relax gun laws, hello! Oh my goodness, I did it again. Baby, did I scare you just now? Yeah, you did. Did you pee just a little? No. Good. Yeah. But did you? No, I didn't. Okay. I did, but that's because of the menopause and the exertion. So tell me, my love, this year, something scary must have happened to you, right? Because it's 2018, we're almost at the end. What's the other scary thing that happened to you this year besides me jumping up on you? Um, I don't know, I guess my boyfriend breaking up with me, I guess. <laughs> if you could say one thing to your ex-boyfriend right now, what would it be? You. Succinct, ladies and gentlemen. Brevity is the soul of wit. Thank you. It's time for us to hunt some more fans, damn it. Bam! Girl, I am more desperate to hunt a fan than... Kennedy. All right. Homophobic legislation. Hello, sir. Oh, but I didn't scare him at all. Did I scare you at all? Just a little bit, baby. Just a little bit? Did you pee even a little? No. Damn it. 
What's your name, baby? Millennia. Millennia? Uh, uh, transphobic legislation. Hello. Hello. Surprise. <laughs> did I just scare the shit out of you? You did. <laughs> Yay. I did one. All right. Tell everyone what your name is. Champagne Monroe. Champagne Monroe. And where do you come from? Mobile, Alabama. Oh, well, if it's not from Champagne, it's not real Champagne, then is it? I mean. All right, we're gonna try to capture one more person. I'm trying to find someone who looks really oblivious, you know, kind of like Pearl or something. Oh, God! <laughs> well, I just realized I'm anti-Semitic. All right, everyone, it's time to head back to my booth. But remember, look over your shoulder in New York City because Miss Cracker is running around with the microphone and she's hell bent on getting someone to piss themselves. Shabam! So Cracker has been scaring everybody and we're gonna go get some revenge. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! Did I scare you? Did I scare you, Miss Cracker? No. My goodness, do you know who I am? Reduced access to healthcare for women. Hello!